The Homunculus Videos I have been wanting to weigh in on this homunculus video ever since it appeared on Hoax Factor a few months ago. Now, when push comes to shove, I am a bit of a skeptic. I like to believe that there are many things in this world that we cannot yet explain. But equally, I'm not the easiest person to convince of something. Just because there might be things that we cannot yet explain doesn't mean that we can't get real solid evidence that they exist. And I know that there are people out there who get a bit of a thrill of pulling the wool over the eyes of other people. I've been one of these people in the past, so I definitely understand. A few months ago, when the now infamous homunculus video appeared on Hoax Factor, it has since appeared on Mr. Nightmare's page and a whole lot of other pages attempting to debunk it, I immediately took towards trying to debunk it on Hoax Factor's uh, video and on Facebook. If you're not familiar with the video, I'll leave a link here so you can see it. I've chosen not to post any parts of the video or any screenshots in my video because regardless of our understanding of fair use, I am in basis going to be calling somebody a liar here. With YouTube's copyright procedure not being entirely beneficial to the accused, I don't want to give this guy any ammunition to use against me. So I will not be showing any parts of his video or experiments on this video. But to explain. A Russian YouTuber has been injecting chicken eggs with what he claims to be his own sperm in hopes of creating a being that is known in alchemy as a homunculus. Basically, it is a small human being that is created by taking human sperm and stealing it in a gourd and then incubating the gourd in the womb of a horse for 40 days. The idea is that a small and clear human being will emerge when the gourd is opened. One of the reasons for believing this was that back in the day, people believed that a baby existed fully inside the head of a sperm cell. They thought that once the sperm nested into an egg, that the baby would mature and grow out of that egg but that the baby itself existed wholly within the sperm. We of course know nowadays that this is not the case. The embryo is created equally from the sperm and the egg. Anyway, this YouTuber has created several videos where he claims that he has created homunculi. In his first video, he created some strange creature after injecting his sperm in the egg and supposedly incubating it for 10 days. The creature barely moved at all. And it basically looked like the prop from a cheap horror movie like they. So in video number 2, and this is the more popular video, he incubated the egg for 40 days. Which is silly, because if an egg is not fertilized before it has been laid, then it will not last to incubate it for 40 days. It will end up being a very, very, very rotten egg. Upon cracking the egg open, he discovered a small creature in it that not only moved, but supposedly spit acid at him. When this happened, he crushed it with a book and remarked that the organs were destroyed and could not be studied. Pretty convenient for somebody who might be trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Destroy the evidence. Well, I immediately set out to debunk the video, and after hours of reading, I postulated this theory. I believed that what the man did was infect the embryo of a fertilized egg, which caused a black gunk that was in the egg. I then assumed that what we saw was a diseased embryo, and that was why the embryo could move. Eggs have been used to propagate viruses pretty successfully, and I believe that was what was done here. A chicken embryo can live with a hole pierced in the egg, and the embryo can become infected and carry viruses. Well, upon further reviewing this man's videos, I can admit that I was terribly wrong. I do not believe anymore that this was a diseased embryo. 
This is, in fact, nothing more than a lot of clever trickery. Let me explain why. In watching the second video, there are several things to keep in mind. Number one, I found it very interesting that although the man injected only a tiny hole into the egg, he made the point to cover the egg extensively with band-aids. He takes two band-aids and crosses them over the pinprick of the hole and covers a large portion of the egg unnecessarily. I mean, if he wanted to cover a pinprick, he could have just use a small circular band-aid. However, the band-aids that he used cover close to a fourth of the entire egg. Then, at 3.43 in the video, he cracks the egg completely away from the band-aid. Why? Good question. He then very carefully keeps that portion of the egg with the band-aids completely covered while he breaks the egg open on the other side, which seems a bit unnecessary. If the one part of the egg is already cracked, why not crack that part of the egg already? Now, personally, I would go as far as saying, in my opinion, that they are not even the same egg, as the egg that is cracked open doesn't fill the container up nearly as much as the original egg. If you compare the egg before he incubates it and afterwards, the egg that is placed into the toboggan is a lot bigger than the one that he takes out. However, that's not the crux of my argument, and there may be other reasons for that. Now, my thought had been that it was sleight of hand. If you watch the video, he cracks the egg away from the band-aids and covers that part of the egg with his hand when he does it. It's also the only time he wears long sleeves, which might lend to the idea that this is sleight of hand. However, this seems unnecessary as in the time period that his viewers are unable to watch the supposed 40 days, he could have broken open the egg place anything he wanted inside the egg, and then cover the crack with the huge band-aids. The thing that gets me the most, however, is his comment about injecting the yolk of the egg. He says this at 1 minute and 40 seconds into the second video. This brings up the biggest hole in this entire thing, and it's something I have yet to see mentioned, is that a chicken egg cannot be fertilized after it has been laid. Fertilization occurs, in actuality, before the egg forms into the form that we are familiar with. At the time of fertilization, the egg yolk is a single cell, and the germinal disc forms within the yolk, when the yolk expands. This man injects the fully formed yolk with sperm. Even chicken sperm would not be able to fertilize an egg this way. Fertilization of a chicken egg cannot occur after the egg has formed its hard shell and has been laid. It is biologically impossible. So, in order for him to fertilize the embryo, he would have to inject the chicken with sperm before the egg shell has formed. And this is even if cross-mating was a possibility biologically, and it's not. This is a fact that has been brought up by other YouTubers as well. So... We return to two only possibilities for this quote-unquote homunculus. Either it is sleight of hand, or he placed something into the cracked shell during the time period when we are not allowed to see the egg. I further find it extremely amusing that in the third video, he does his experiment again with 40 eggs and wearing some sort of hazmat suit supposedly to protect himself in case one of the embryos squirts anything at him, and each experiment fails. However, this is around the time that his videos began becoming extremely well known, such as their mention on Mr. Nightmare's channel, and suddenly, in the face of failure, he decides to make a fourth video, which is only one egg, and is successful. After people have been trying to debunk him. Wow, that is so convenient, isn't it? And for some strange reason, not only is he successful in the immediate next attempt after people have attempted to debunk him, 
But he's no longer worried about being sprayed and is not wearing the hazmat suit. But come on. You had two successes followed by 40 straight failures. And you only succeeded again when people began to question the validity of your videos on a wide scale. And then you succeeded in one try in the very next try. And without your hazmat suit. So obviously the fear of being sprayed was gone. Now, you might be asking yourself why I want to ruin anyone's fun in believing in something that cannot be explained. I want to let you know that's not my intent here at all. I entertain the idea of things beyond our current understanding. I like to think that there is much that is beyond what we can currently explain. But keeping that in mind, I don't like being played for a fool. Watching these videos, I'm 100% sure that we are all being played for fools. This is a trick, and when you really take it down to nuts and bolts, it's not even that good of a trick. When we're being played as fools, our ability to question, our ability to observe, our ability to think is being questioned or being insulted by those who are trying to pull the wool over my eyes. And that is what I don't like. And I think we're all smarter than that. So I'm sorry, but I can't believe in this. Hey everybody, uh, Killer Orange Cat here, but I'm sure you figured it out by now. I want to start this by saying that I hope that nobody is offended by what I posted here. It is not my attempt to ruin anybody's fun or to screw anything up for anybody who wants to believe in these things. I like to believe in things as well, but there's a difference between believing in things that seem remarkable and letting somebody trick you into believing something that just seems so fantastical that it just can't exist. And honestly, I just don't think this is a homunculus. This is a guy who is getting attention off some really cheap trickery and is enjoying that intention. And I don't really respect that. So I don't like seeing the people in this world being tricked. And that's what's happening here in my opinion. But if you do enjoy the videos, I'm happy that you do. And please continue to do them. I just really wanted to pass along my opinion. Now, many of you may have noticed I have not had a video out in a little bit over a week now. I want to let you know I have been working pretty hard, actually. I recorded a video collaboration with King Spook and Slumlocker and Your Maker, which appears on King Spook's page. It was uploaded very early this morning. I will include a link here, so please make sure to check it out. I don't think I can add anything to King Spook. He is a huge narrator. He has a lot of subscribers. But if by any pure chance that some of you are not subscribed to King Spook or Your Maker or Slumlocker, please make sure to go ahead and do that. All three of them are amazing narrators. King Spook is the main reason I got into the doing this, so I thank him immensely for including me into this. It was sort of like a dream of mine to work with him, and now that I have, I really appreciate that. In addition, my birthday is on Monday, and no, I'm not going to tell anybody what birthday that is, so... For the weekend, I'm trying to take it a little bit easy, so I wanted to go ahead and post this video. It's kind of easy. It's a little bit different than what I've done before, but I'm going to be coming out with a video with top five countdowns, where we count down the top five of what we consider to be the most haunted or scariest hospitals and or asylums. This is going to be done as a precursor to my upcoming trip to Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Now, that will probably be the only other video I come out with in the next couple of days just because I want to take it easy. I want to enjoy my birthday and not really have to work too hard. I'm going to be doing some stuff, going out. I'm going to be out all day Monday. And then on Tuesday, I will come back and start going to work again for everybody. So please look forward to that. In closing, all I have to say is make sure to check in your closet and check under your bed. Because you never know where a killer orange cat might be hiding. Good night.